Hello busy bees. This week we've been talking about transport and uh, today we're going to talk about rail transport and what goes on rails? Trains. Okay, so trains can carry people from one place to another or they can um, take big things like cars or um, um, food um, and a train drives on a rail. Okay, so we're going to make a train today. Let's get started. Um, I've taken a toilet roll and then an egg box and I've cut the egg boxes I need. I needed a section with two in it and a, um, one egg box. So this is what it looked like when I cut it off. I used a craft knife so you're going to have to get your grown up to help you. And then I just trimmed off the edges when, where it was a little bit uh, different sizes with a pair of scissors. And um, this is going to be your compartment. For your for your trains okay then your single one is going to be like the 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 chimney on top of the the engine part of the train okay so when you um for your compartments i've done three and i've already painted them and um, so once they look like this paint each one <clears throat> you can do as many as you like i've done three compartments um and i've painted them so that they can they're already dry for when I'm gluing, and um, and then they look like see like this. And I've cut some wheels out. All right, I've used the lid just to draw some circles, and um, so it depends on how many um, compartments that you need how many wheels you need okay so now I've just used normal prit to glue them on it's quite a big blob just so that it sticks nicely all right okay so they we not wheels that are going to be able to go around it's just for effect and just for fun all right so there are my three compartments and I've tied them together with string okay so let's just move that out the way. Now this is going to be my engine of my train and then the little chimney that goes on top. Um, before I stick the chimney on, because I'm going to need some runny glue with that, I'm going to put my wheels. Now you see I've got two big wheels and two small wheels. Alright. Okay, and the big wheels go at the back. Alright, and then the small wheel goes in the front, and I do the same on the other side. Make sure I do it the right, so, too small, where am I? There we go. Alright, you can adjust it, and make it even. Then, before I attach my chimney, um, you'll have to get your grown-up to help you. I've um, just made two little holes on my toilet roll and on my egg box. And I'm going to tie it together with a piece of string so that when you're pulling it, so I've really made holes here. All right. This one's been covered by a... Good time to practice your threading, busy bees. I've kept my string quite long just so that it's easier to make a knot and then I just trim off the bits that I don't use. Alright, and I just do a double knot. Okay, did I get the other side through? Dogs are barking at something. Whoopsie. My wheel fell off on this side as well. That's alright. Okay, and then as you pull it, you can see it will move. Now let me just get my engine. So I painted this as well, and I painted the inside. Because that's where you... I've been keeping my glue upside down because it's actually running out. 
So remember when you use the runny goo, it takes a little bit longer to dry. Okay, and then I just position it any way I want on the top. Okay, and I'm just going to put it on its side for you to have a look at our train. And that's what it would look like. There's my engine. And that will take a day to dry. But there's my train. Doot, doot. Happy crafting!